Good evening, everyone. The second half of the case, 2018 Panini Select Football 6-Box, random team break number 6. We did 5 a little bit earlier this evening, and number 6 got knocked out as well, so thank you very much for KOing this break. There are the combo teams right there. Bengals, Titans, Jaguars, and my Raiders are comboed up. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. 1 and a 3. Thanks, Ram.org. Low dice roll. 1, 2, 3, and 4. One, three, four times. Sean on the pole and Johnny L in the 30 spot. Once again, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Easy, easy. Wish all the dice rolls were that easy. Lions down to the Falcons. Boop. All right, Sean, you got the Lions. Mike Denton with the Bengals and Titans combo. Kevin Crouch with the Jets. Johnny with the Ravens. Jacqueline with the Rams. John with the Eagles. Peter with the Redskins. Mark with the Saints. Braden with the Boys. Ron with the Bears. John with the Chiefs. Braden, you got the Bucks. Jake Lewis with the Patriots. Chris Parent, last spot mojo. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Mark Livingston with the Packers. Mark Matheson with the Dolphins. Bulldog fan with the Panthers, Taylor with the Steelers, Mike Denton with the Texans, Greg with the Seahawks, Allen with the Giants, Randall with the Colts, EA with the Cardinals and the Chargers, Allen with the Vikes, Joseph Matthews, oh, with one T, just like Ryan, just like Ryan Matthews. Are you guys related? Denver Broncos, Jack McDermott with the Niners, Mike Denton with the Browns, Joe Barry, you got the Jags and my Raiders, Johnny with the Falcons. All right, let's alphabetize these by team. Any trades? And remember, we marked all of these number six right here. Uh, we got Chargers for trade, Lions for trade, Chargers, Lions. And uh, as I said uh, before I started this recording, we're going to do a two-boxer of tribute baseball after this. And I was going to say... We're going to call it a night after that, but I kind of I kind of personally have the itch to see a couple more jerseys busted open. So if you want to knock out jersey break number nine, I'll squeeze that in before we call it a night because we're not going to see you until next Wednesday anyway. We're going to the Tops Industry Conference. Um, oh, it looks like Sean bought five. Anthony got three. That's already eight spots gone. I think the Todd father was here a little bit earlier too. He said he would get some spots too. So we are already down to 11 on those jersey breaks. So we need we need a few more people, but it's only 12.99 a spot. So it's a cheap uh, a cheap way to end the night. Yes, Johnny, welcome. Good to see you, man. Yeah, you're just in time. Lions, trade the Lions, Bears, Chargers? No. EA's game for the Lions, Sean, if that does anything for you. I think he was trying to move the Chargers. Lions Chargers? That feels that feels like a fair trade, right? Carry on Johnson's for uh for Derwin James's. Derwin James's? Right, Derwin James's, basically. Deal? Deal. Alright. All right, so Lions for Chargers confirmed. So, Sean, let's get you out of that Detroit Lions spot. EA, let's get you out of the Chargers spot and get you into the Lions. Get you into the Lions' den. And, Sean, into the power plant, the Chargers. All right, now let's close up the trade window. Tyler, what's going on? Tyler Stump in the house. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Boop. And boop. I have enough supplies here for this half caser. Yeah, I got plenty. 
Good luck. Remember, two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. Thankfully, we've I think we've seen all average boxes, which is good. Below average boxes, bad. Above average boxes, it's a bonus. Nice little bonus, but they've all been pretty solid. All right, so here is the final print out. It's official on the 23rd. Thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday night with us, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate that. T for trade if you're scoring at home. Let's see who draws first blood, if any, in that trade. Ooh, nice. Jerseys are down to four now. Tyler said that he picked up five spots. It looks like we are going to do that tonight. Nice. All right. Okay, how about this? I'll stay if you guys fill up the last jersey break. Might as well just finish off the jerseys. I would, that's, we only got one case of that. So if you want to do the last two, because the break nine looks like it's definitely going to happen. So if you want to finish, fill out, fill up break 10, I'm down. It's easy for me. I don't have to open anything. I don't have to topple. I just show you a jersey. Play the Who Am I game. It's easy. So if you want to finish off those last two, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Everything else, I'm not willing to do anything else after that. <laughs> just those jersey breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's been a long week. You've been keeping us, keeping us busy. Shipping teams and working hard, sorting teams and working hard. So thanks for keep putting us to work, boys and girls. We really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna start off with Curly Colt. I know nothing about Curly. I have nothing for you on Curly Colt. The only thing I have is that my uncle used to live in Texas. Was a big Houston Oilers fan. Uncle Charles, he lives around here now. Um, Big Oilers fan until they moved. It broke his heart, turned into a Cowboys fan. Stop moving teams. Don't do that. Um, Brett, what's going on? Ooh, nice. I'm well. I'm glad I could be a small part of your happiness, Big Rig. Got back home, kind of a bummer of an evening for him. Watched the Bowman's best break. Got you two and one best performers, Brady Singer, if I remember correctly. So that was a nice insert auto in there, too. So there you go. Congrats, man. All right. Let's see if we can, let's see if I can make some people happy in this one. Two-color jersey and autograph. Michael Gallup galloping over to Braden with the Cowboys. 36 out of 49. The, the Oilers one goes to the Titans. So that goes to Mike Denton, who has the Bengals and Titans combo. Denzel Ward to 199. And we'll sleeve and top load all of those serial numbered cards before they go out, of course, just in the interest of time. We're going to breeze by those. Jarvis Landry, Browns. Are there going to be monsters in the second half, Kevin Crouch? Was the first half a little soft? Maybe it was. I don't remember. It feels like a lifetime ago. It's been a busy night. Uh, the tie-dye die cut. Jarvis Landry, Browns, going to Mike Denton. 10 out of 25. Love those tie-dyes. There's Deshaun Watson, tricolor to 199. Josh Adams to 175. Sorry about that. Terrell Edmonds. Steelers, Taylor with the Steelers, die cut. Purple parallel, 20 out of 75. All right, so Kevin Crouch was saying, first half, a little soft, so-so. There's DJ Shark. Do, 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 do. Going to the Jags Raiders combo. That'll be for Joseph Berry. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully the second half will be strong. Nine out of 99. Number nine, number nine, number nine. All right. Uh, what did I do, Sean? Oh, you got, yeah. Well, it, it got stuck in my head a few nights ago, so I'm sharing the misery.
Now, if we were to do a video of that, is it required that we step outside of our car and uh, and proverbially ghost ride that whip? I think that's how it's supposed to be done. Right, I think that, what was the, I, I don't remember, what was the zebra in this one, Ron? Was it golden, is it golden Tate? I think was the zebra, that was from the first half. Yeah, so for full disclosure. Marquez Valdez Scantling to 99. And there's Bo Jackson die cut. Now, was it Kirk Cousins? Did we pull two tonight? Oh, you know what? I got to email him, Tyler. Thanks for reminding me. 47 out of 49. I got a list of people I need to contact. Yeah, I think I think the the informal meetup is going to be Sunday night. So hopefully he has time then. There's Bill Romanowski. Old Bill Romo Raiders edition going to the Jags Raiders combo for Joseph Berry. Joe with some Joe and Raider Joe Mojo. Chris Godwin to 99. Okay, so Kevin Crouch is saying, I think it was Golden Tate in the first half of this random team break, and then it was Cousins in the pick your team for the Zebra parallels. Which are not guaranteed one per case, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. They, they usually fall one per case. But the other night we had a case where we had a one-of-one one rookie auto of Christian Kirk, and I think that actually replaced the Zebra. There's Keanu Neal, gold, two-color patch and autograph, eight out of ten. That's Johnny L. and the Dirty Birds. Nice, Tyler. You were you were supposed to go, but we we're, couldn't able we weren't able to do it. Work. I could write you a note, Tyler. Dear Fred. There's Todd Gurley, 172 out of 199. And our XRC card, third defensive person taken in the draft. It's Neam Hines to 175. Maybe jo Josh Allen. Defensive end Josh Allen. So that'll be randomized to the name on top. At, at the end of the break, different dice roll. We'll randomize the entire list. Name on top will get all of those XRC cards as one lot. And the second name will get uh, well any points that may come out of here. Hopefully none, but any points that may come out of here. Nice. Uh, Team B Random letting me know that there are two left in Jersey break number nine. And I and I I promise that if you guys dig deep, if you boys and girls dig deep for Jersey Break number ten and fill that up by the end of Jersey Break nine, I'll do Break ten as well. Everything else, I'm too tired to do. Sorry, it's been a long week, but uh, we'll be back next Wednesday after the Top Industry Conference. Really, the Lakers losing to. Pelicans. They, they they beat the Rockets. They looked good against the Rockets. Motivated, played hard. Everyone looked good. And they just lay an egg in New Orleans. What are they partying too much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron. You'll never be Kobe. There's Marquez Valdez Scantling, 42 out of 75. Jersey and autograph. Packers. Mark Livingston with that one. All 
Oh, yo, you definitely should stop by the shop, Tyler. If possible, it would be cool for you to stop by the shop before we move. And then stop by the shop, um, the new shop, once we move into a new shop, whenever... Whenever we land, we finally land a place. We've got a few places in the works, but at a 99, Lamar Jackson. How many years left in the tank for LeBron James? I don't know. Part of me actually, part of me actually kind of wants LeBron James for the Lakers. I know it's kind of not the attitude I usually would take, but kind of I say, let's not make the playoffs this year. You know, give LeBron James a break. You know, the, the, what? How long are the playoffs? Like two months in the NBA. Give the man a break, you know, get him healthy, get some trades going in the off season. you know, add some talent, add some players, and, and just get be ready and refreshed. It's Josh Rosen, Jersey, out of 199. So uh, I think we're, we're probably going to stay in the same area. We're in Redondo Beach, pretty close to the pier right now. Um, and if we do move, it'll, it'll still be around this area, maybe down, maybe down PCH or maybe up closer to El Segundo near LAX around. There's some nice spots around there. A lot of big companies around L, uh, the LA times offices just recently moved to El Segundo. So maybe up there, so, but, uh, but still around here, what they call the South Bay area. At a 199, Adam Humphreys. You think LeBron will only play like a year in LA and then retire? At a 99, we got Dante Jackson, the Panthers. Next box. Oh, sorry. Did I, I misread, misread that maybe, Sean? Wait, who will play one year with Braun and then retire? Did I miss something? You're saying he, LeBron is going to play as long as as long as possible until his son is able to be drafted and he'll play with his son for a year. How old is LeBron James' son? Is Bronny is is he is his son good? Let me show you. Yeah, he's predisposed. Genetically, but he's 14. So, is he good? I mean, as far as you can tell from a 14 year old, it's kind of a lot to live up to, right? All right. Yeah, he's good. Like, like lottery pick good? Like top 10 pick good? Leighton Vander Esch. Not at the moment, Todd. But, I mean, that, that rule can change within four years. Here's Chris Thompson, jersey and autograph for the Redskins. That'll be for Peter Lombardo. I always thought that, that the rule should be, I think the rule should be you can declare right after high school, but if you, but if you elect to go to college, you got to go for at least three years. 
So it's either zero college or like three years of college. Hey, Nick Jaspi. 19 out of 199. The Zion Willinson issue might change it. Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. NTAA has to figure out how to create a better product for basketball. I think that the NTAA should just... I mean, it's in their best best interest to have players stay at least two or three years so you at least can create a connection with those athletes, those student athletes, and then try to... And then, and then try to... You know, then you can build a familiar... Like Lonzo Ball was at UCLA. I'm a UCLA guy. Was only there for like a year. So you're not going to get a connection with Lonzo Ball as a UCLA guy if he was there for two or three years with him and like Aaron Holiday and you know whoever decent team. You know what I mean? You you could start building some connections there. But listen, if you're good, good enough to get out of, to be drafted at 18 years old, hey, by all means, you know I, I want I want to give kids that opportunity to do that. But if you don't, like let's say you don't get drafted. Right, you declare at eighteen, you don't get drafted, and you go to college. You got to go for three years. You just got to. And so the good players, you'll still see Zion would be right out of high school, and it'll be fine. Great, we see Zion in the NBA ASAP. You know, so. And uh, Greg, I was just gonna get to that point as well. I don't think it's gonna be too hard to to get to actually pay those players, right? It gets weird. You guys start, start talking about, okay, well, how much money did the university make from TV rights and, 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 and who got better ratings, football or basketball? So who gets paid better? You know, Does Zion get more money than R.J. Barrett? Who gets more money? You know, or it's just a flat rate. So you're saying, uh, saying like that, you know, that uh, fourth-year senior who gets two minutes a game Still gets paid as much as Zion. You can't pay college players. It just doesn't work. But I agree with you, Greg. I think they should be allowed to make money on signings. If they're if if they're selling their jersey in the student store, they should get a cut of that. You know, video game likenesses. They should get a, a cut of that. Anything you know, because anything that could be branding themselves, marketing themselves. You know. And make them get a marketing degree while they're at it. Why not? Force them to be like, hey, all student athletes have to get a marketing degree. It'll be much stronger in branding or a business degree. Shantae, I don't, I don't think. I actually don't know any of the requirements for the AAF. I think, you know, if you just get picked up, you get picked up. You know, uh, Sean said, I don't think they should get paid. I think it rewards their, de rewards their degree. NBA contract is a bonus. I mean, it's that, in a romantic sense, yes. I agree with that. But I'm not sure if that's... In theory, that's how you would hope it would be. In practice, I don't think it's that. There's just so many, so much money that... that crooked NCAA's banking off of off the back of the backs of these student athletes. It's just become too much of a of of a there's just too much money involved now. Massive T V contracts that CBS is paying out for March Madness every year. You know, the shoe money that's in schools now, like you're a Nike school, you're an Under Armour school, you're an Adidas school, all that happening too. The money's ruined everything. It's it's back in the day. Yeah, it, it, going to college, getting the degree is a bonus. It's a bonus for a lot of kids who are never going to make the NBA. But now there's just so much money. AAU basketball and all the shoe stuff has just poisoned the well. You got so you got to try to work within that context. I think I don't think you're going to sell today's seventeen year old kid on. Well, you know, your uh, there's Dorsey Levins by the way for Mark Livingston. It's like well. The, the your reward is a degree. It's not gonna not not gonna play with the kids these days. Out of 175, Mike White. 
Well, that's what I'm saying, Todd. That's what I'm saying. Either zero years of college or three years of college, right? So, so you're not forced to go one and done. You can go out, right? So Zion Williamson, so in the Zion case, he would have just gone out directly to the NBA right away. Because I, so I think one and done is just like you're just kind of, it, you're like on the fence. One and done is such a fence fence sitting thing, and that's what always makes me angry. It's just like it's such an in-betweener, fancy kind of BS. Just pick one or the other. <laughs> 54 out of 199. I think that is what college baseball does, right? You can get drafted out of high school, but if you go to college baseball, I think they do make you stay there for two or three years. Well, they could get hurt in NBA year one, not have a degree, then what? Well, using their rookie contract, they can afford to pay for college now and get a degree. They go back to college. Sorry, basketball is not an option. You know, like you tried it. You took the risk. Now you just got to be a regular Joe like everybody else. Go to college, get a degree and work. Good thing you have that rookie contract to pay for that college. Ooh, we got an out of five coming up. Train whistle hit. Ooh, the O's of Broncos. Royce Freeman, green. A little opposite Joe Mojo as well. Joe Matthews going oppo with the Broncos. Three out of five. Joe Matthews, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. We got Brennan Scarlet Letter to 199. And one more box to go. We are almost there, folks. We got a two box break of tribute and at least one box of, uh, or at least one break of the autographed jerseys. Now, I'm down to do that final jersey break tonight if you want. If not, then we'll call it a night and we'll save that for next week. Speaking of all this college stuff, I heard something kind of interesting the other day. The uh, the least educated athlete is uh, is the baseball player. There's so many kids that get drafted right out of high school and just grind through the minors. Bryce Harper doesn't go to college. You know what I mean? Chris Bryant's not going to college. Obviously, the most educated is football players. They, everyone does at least three or four. And the one and done rule forces everybody in the NBA to do at least a year. Not that any of those kids go to classes <laughs> in either in any sport. There's Joey Bosa, forty-four out of forty-nine. We got Saquon Barkley, Sparks Relic. 97 out of 99. That's for the New York Football Giants. That goes to Alan Murdoch. Ben Roethlisberger to 199. Tricolor. Ryan Tannehill to 175. Nick Chubb. To a 99. No, I mean, there's obviously the scholar athletes, the student athletes who definitely get our Joshua Dobbs, you know? I don't know, like. Whoa! More Oppo Joe Mojo. Joseph Matthews with one T, just like Ryan Matthews. With the Denver Broncos gets the die cut green Ed McCaffrey. Christian's dad. It's one out of two. Ooh. 
I think Kevin Crouch was right earlier. Where he was like, there's got to be monsters in the second half. There it is. In the last box, too. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. So look at this. Broncos with a couple train whistles in the final box. All right. There's two out of ten. Gold, Mike Kosicki, jersey and auto. What a box. Two out of ten. Miami Dolphins, Mark Matheson with the Finns. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice, ladies and gentlemen. First half was okay. It was all right. Not so bad. For second half, definitely strong. So thanks for filling this one up, folks. It was worth it. 1999, die-cut Kirk Cousins. No points in the second half either, but just one XRC card. Nice. Let's sleeve this up and let's see who gets randomized those points. Obviously, Peter Lombardo with the Redskins. No, sorry. He's not the Redskins anymore. Alan Murdoch with the Vikings. Get the Kirk Cousins. I think I said San Diego Chargers earlier today too. Tired. It's been a long week. You guys have been keeping us busy. All right. Let's go back to the list. Ding. Let's get some dice. It's EA down to Peter. Name on top gets a defensive player, the third defensive player taken in the draft. After six times, two and a four. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Name on top for the XRC card is Greg. There you go. I don't think I called your name all break, Greg. Your consolation prize, sir, is the third defensive player taken in the draft. It could it be? It could be a, a Josh Allen kid, defensive Josh Allen, not quarterback Josh Allen. So there you go, A little consolation for you. Uh, thanks, Greg. Thanks everybody. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was Random Team Six in the books. We'll see you for the next one.